It is Tuesday time for our pet vet segment with Dr. Jamie Augustine of Oasis Animal Hospital in Henderson. Dr. Augustine, thanks so much. We've made it Pet Week here on Channel 8. That means we're focused on all things animals this week. And we'd like to know some important tips that you'd like to share for people adopting a new pet for the very first time, including how to go about introducing them to other pet members in the household as well. That's actually a good question. So one of the things we have the most difficulty with is introducing new cats into a home. And the best thing you can do is to take the new pet, put it in a room by itself, own food, own water, own litter box, close the door. Let it have a small area to explore and then allow the other pets in the home to be able to kind of say, howdy, under the door. And then after a week or so, you can move it into another room and then they get to go in, the older pets go in and explore that room, get the new smells, cat gets a new room to explore that way there's a little bit of a time change uh, or a shift in allowing them to actually explore and get to know each other always taking time never force it don't try to hold one and force them to say hi to each other that's never going to go well <laughs> especially between cats and dogs <laughs> yes very good point okay and with dogs do you just kind of take them outside and let them you know do their thing <laughs> Well, best thing, if they're older pets, put them on a leash mm -hmm. and have two different people, one controlling each pet, so you can kind of see what their responses are going to be. Uh, puppies are a little different. Puppies are generally going to be kind of really rambunctious. Older pets can get a little bit, you know, off put by that. So best thing is to have the older pet or if it's two adult dogs, two adult dogs on both on leashes mm -hmm. so you can have control over them if there's a problem. Wonderful advice. Thank you, Dr. Augenstein. Uh, let's address pet insurance. We know there's all sorts out there. You say it's becoming a big thing. Can you please elaborate on that? And in your experience, what does it do best at covering? Well, there's different, oh gosh, there's so many different plans out there. Yeah. Um, they're definitely becoming more popular. Not uh, 20 years ago, hardly anybody had it. Now, more and more people do have it. And it's a good thing to have. If anything happens to your pet, you'll be glad you had it. Uh, it doesn't cover everything. Some of them do have caps on what they cover, but a lot of them you can get these plans that will cover routine maintenance, vaccines, spaying, neutering, dentals. Um, if anything catastrophic happens, that's when they are the most advantageous. Mm. So do your due diligence. There's a bunch of companies out there that offer um, good policies, but they do work different than human medicine, human insurance, where in human medicine, you go in, they cover so much, and then you pay your deductible. Veterinary insurance is a little different. You're going to pay the bill and then send it off to the insurance company. They're going to reimburse you for whatever they're going to pay. Got it. Okay. And along those lines, Dr. Augustine, what is an emergency with your pet? What can wait and what needs to be seen immediately? If you've got an animal who is in respiratory distress, that is an emergency. That is a true emergency it needs to be seen right away. If you've got a pet that, uh, if you look at their mucous membrane, so look at the, the gums. If they're white or blue, you have a medical emergency. You need to get them seen right away. If you've got an animal who cannot urinate and they're straining, straining, straining to urinate, that is a medical emergency. Uh, we call those block toms. If it's a male cat, that's the most common it happens to. Those are true medical emergencies. And if you've got a, a dog, normally large breed dogs and their abdomen is distended and tight and could have what we call a bloat, that is also a true medical emergency needs to be seen immediately. Mm -hmm. Our wine runner had that years back and luckily we got her in quick enough. So she was OK. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Augustine. We look forward to seeing you in about two weeks. In the meantime, be safe and be well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.